It is the scandal that rocked English cricket, isn't it? And it has been a long time since Azim Rafiq first made claims of racism at Yorkshire Cricket Club, later calling English cricket institutionally racist. Today, that long-awaited disciplinary hearing will begin in London, which is due to take place in public, a first for the Cricket Discipline Commission, with Rafiq due to appear in person to give evidence, as our sports editor Dan Rowan now reports. On the field, English cricket is on a high. Their drawn series against New Zealand this week, part of a revival that's seen the team win 10 of their last 12 tests. But off it, escaping the past is difficult. A disciplinary hearing in relation to racism allegations made by former Yorkshire player Azim Rafiq starts today, and some in the sport admit it won't be easy. Cleaning up the wound, that th there is a lot of festering stuff that has to be dealt with, and it's being done, and, and it's... It's an unhappy situation now, but I do believe things will improve greatly. Two years ago, Yorkshire sparked outrage by not disciplining anyone, despite Rafiq being found to have suffered racial harassment, plunging the county into crisis. The whistleblower gave harrowing testimony to MPs about the abuse he said he suffered at the hands of some former colleagues at Yorkshire. There just seems to be an acceptance in the institution um, from the leaders and no one no one ever stamped it out. Disciplinary proceedings were then brought by the ECB against Yorkshire and seven of its former players who were all charged with bringing the game into disrepute. Yorkshire itself and its former batsman Gary Balance accepted their charges and will not participate. Five others, including ex-England bowler Matthew Hoggard, withdrew from the hearing, criticising the ECB process. Former England captain Michael Vaughan is set to be the only charged individual to appear in person, accused of making a racist comment to Rafiq and three other Asian players during a Yorkshire match in 2009. Vaughan, who has repeatedly denied the claims, stepped back from his broadcasting work at the BBC last year after he was charged. The sanctions that could be imposed by the CDC Commission normally relate to curtailing their activities as players or suspending them. Um, obviously, as former players, that's not going to affect them. However, the CDC Commission could think creatively and perhaps ban them from the grounds for a certain period of time, which could curtail their activities in the media. Azim Rafiq's allegations and the way they've been handled since have cast a long shadow over not just Yorkshire cricket, but the wider English game as well, forcing it to confront its record on inclusivity and diversity. The sense that this scandal will finally come to a head over the coming days. And with a landmark report into levels of equality in English cricket also expected soon, the game is now braced for a period of intense scrutiny.